Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to uh, talk about uh, uh, the uh, CAN network uh, analysis uh, using the DLC health checker. Uh, and on screen right now, as you can see, um, this is a diagram uh, of the uh, CAN network in a typical vehicle uh, today. Uh, basically, what you're, what you're looking at, it's a, uh, a representation of what the CAN network looks like. And as you can see, uh, the CAN network joins pretty much all uh, the different modules. Um, two things to look at. The termination resistors. Uh, there are two termination resistors. There are 120 ohm termination resistor uh, in parallel, which makes for uh, 60 ohms. And whenever you go and uh, you probe across uh, pins number six and 14, as you can see on the health checker, you have to have 60 ohms. That's regardless of, of you know whatever, uh, whichever vehicle you're working on. Okay, so uh, it's important that you understand uh, that that 60 ohms uh, represents two, um, uh, two resistors in parallel. If you only have, if you have 120 ohms, you probe across uh, pins number 6 and 14, and you see 120 ohms, that means one resistor is out. Uh, normally, the dash... Uh, has one of the resistors, okay? Normally the dash, and the other one is usually found inside the ECM, which is the green module to towards the left. Now the OPD2 health checker, and we're going to see that later on. And remember, re this termination resistor is very, very important, okay? Uh, termination resistors are, um, if without it, the network is not going to work, okay? So. Uh, the, the second thing that you have to look for uh, is the fact that the, the CAN network has the, the, two, uh, the two pins, number uh, 6 and 14. Uh, one is CAN low and CAN high. Okay, and we're going to see that um, in, the, in, the, uh, in the actual test that we're going to do with the health checker, the OBD2 health checker, which is, you see it at, at the bottom in red. Okay. Uh, and basically, one uh, the 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 medium the, the, the medium level voltage it's uh, around 2.5 volts. So can high is going to switch from that to 3.5, and can low is going to switch from 2.5 to 1.5. Now on screen, as you can see, uh, we are seeing the OBD2 health checker. Okay, uh, the OBD2 health checker is pretty much a uh, uh, it's it's an automated unit that we have uh, that tests um, not only the CAN network, uh, but it also tests the grounds. It also does a stress test on the ground, on the power, and so on and so forth. And now we're, we're, what we're doing, there's a switch on top of the health checker uh, that gives you a square wave. And that's just so that you know uh, if this, this, the unit is working properly, okay? Uh, and it's just a test. It's just a test signal. Uh, that you that you find uh, in the uh, health checker itself, uh, just to, to know if the if the small uh, scope is working uh, properly. Now on screen, uh, as you can see, we are communicating with a car using a scanner. Uh, the health checker uh, you it actually comes with a Y connector, uh, so you can connect both the scanner and the health checker at the same time. And uh, we are going to go into the can high, okay? And that's what we're going to see. Remember, 2.5 up. That's what you're seeing on the can high from 2.5 to 3.5 okay uh, and basically we you saw we, we're just showing you the scanner because uh, we're trying to establish communication um, with the uh, with the vehicle uh, and again 2007 and up uh, they're all can uh, and uh, as you can see this is this is giving you 3.8 volts uh, that's the high so I said 3.5, 3.8, 3.7, that's fine. Doesn't have to be exactly 3.5. That's a high side uh, of the, uh, uh, of the uh, can high. 
uh, which is pin number six. Pin number 14 is kind of low. Uh, right now, we're going to go to uh, pin number 14. And remember, all we have to do is it, just just choose the, the, the right uh, pin, uh, and that's it. You know, you don't have to you don't have to probe. You don't have to poke uh, into the OBD to connect. Or you don't need a, sc a scope. You don't need anything. You have everything in front of you. And this goes from 2.5 uh, down to 1.5. And basically what you're looking for is that, you know, what you see on screen right now. You, you need to see some activity there. Uh, and you need to see that exact waveform, uh, uh, which is a, um, if you look at it, it's a, it has a flat at 2.5, okay? And then uh, you get th this, these are the packets, uh, the CAN packets of communicating with the, uh, you have the scope communicating with the ECM and every, everybody else. Uh, remember that the CAN joins uh, the entire network. Uh, uh, so right now we're doing a, uh, we're freezing the, the waveform, okay? And as you can see, you, we have the quiescent, um, uh, 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 the, the flat line at the top, that's 2.5. And everybody else is switching, is switching down from 2.5. In other words, you know, this is a very simple, with this tool, it's, uh, it's very easy to do all, all your testing um, uh, when it comes to the CAN network. Uh, that's not the only thing that you could do. We have other videos uh, <coughs> on this unit, the, the OBD2 Health Checker, uh, which deals with the power. It also tests num pins number four and five, which is the ground, and pins number 16, which is the power. And it has an internal resistor inside. And the internal resistor, what it does, it's, uh, uh, it stresses the, uh, the power and the ground. Remember, you have sensor ground, uh, pin number four, and, uh, and uh, chassis ground, pin number five. Uh, and they are important. If you don't have that, the proper ground, uh, right away you can tell if the ECM is grounded properly or not. And as you can see, we are still communicating. And we are showing you what the signal looks like, okay? We're actually goosing the throttle. And that's what, what, that's what you're seeing on screen right now on the scanner. And on the other, uh, on the health checker, you're just seeing packets. These are the packets that, you, that, you, that you're looking at on the OBD2 health checker on the CAN pin number six on the CAN network. Uh, there, remember, there's no really no reason to, to check both of them at the same time. Basically, if you uh, the unit, you don't have to poke into the wires. Everything is you can do everything just with one button in there. And now, as you can see on screen, uh, this is uh, I would just wanted to show you this. This is how how the OBD2 health checker is going to behave if you're not connected to the battery properly. Okay, it'll just click on and off, on and off, on and off, as you can see on screen. Uh, basically, it's letting you know that there's not sufficient voltage to run the unit. Uh, and at, at that point in time, make sure you look at your connections to the battery because the unit has to be referenced at the battery. It's not that it takes power that from the battery, which it is, but it has to be referenced more than any, anything else. It's going to com compare the voltage uh, to the battery, which is that's what it means, reference. Now, going back to the functioning of this particular unit and testing uh, the DLC uh, pins number 6 and 14. Uh, as you can see, we are actually, we power the unit, it goes through a check, and you can see all, here all the, the, the relays clicking in, inside there. And basically all you have to do is just turn that knob and go into pin number 6. Go, of course, you're going to go in with your scanner. There is a Y connector that uh, comes with a unit where you can plug in your scanner together with the OBD2 uh, DLC health checker. Uh, and as you can see, we are actually uh, going into the CAN uh, system. This was actually a Ford vehicle. Uh, anything after 2006 has to be CAN. So it's going to be CAN if it's 2006 or newer. Okay, and as you can see on screen, uh, the voltage where we're checking, this is uh, pin number six, <coughs> which uh, pin number six is can high. That's why you see 3.8 volts because you're switching. That's the upper side. Remember, the the viewing the LCD is going to give you a snapshot, you know, of the 
um, of the voltage. And as you can see, uh, we are basically graphing uh, with, the, with the scanner. So we're communicating uh, back and forth. And you can actually see pin number 6. And we're also going to show you pin number 14 uh, on the oscilloscope, the built-in oscilloscope in there. Uh, remember that the scope is going to, you can make all kinds of uh, measurements in there uh, because it gives you, if you look at the, the scope, it has uh, texting. It has that text on the top that actually measures the minimum and maximum and this and that. And you'll be able to go through all your, uh, your measurements in there. And basically, this, this is, I mean, this is 100%. Uh, and if you, what we're doing right now is we're expanding the time base and you can actually see the single pulses uh, for each CAN um, uh, network. So each one of those pulses are either 0 or 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, or 0, 0, 0, whatever, you know, uh, basically. So that's, uh, that's how the, the unit communicates. It toggles between 2.6 and in this particular case, the upper side will be 3.6 more or less. Remember, it's not always the same on every car. It could be 3.8. Uh, it could be even a little higher than that, uh, depending on the vehicle that you're working on, because CAN doesn't really specify 100% the value, the voltage values. But that's more or less what you're going to see uh, right here. And so uh, that's pretty much it. You know, so you don't have to do anything. All you got to do is go in, uh, graph your 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 pins, uh, connect with the scanner, and see if you have a connection. If you don't have communication, if you don't see the signal on the scope side and you don't see anything, uh, you know, when you connect the scanner, basically you have a problem. So you, there, there are things that you could do. Uh, you can actually go uh, and switch the unit, uh, the, the switch on the top, which actually injects uh, 120 ohm resistor and voltage into the, into the, into the uh, uh, CAN network and then go from there. Uh, so it's basically, you know, uh, it's a done deal. This, this is a, a turnkey operation. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to poke in with a, with a scope. You don't have to buy a scope. You don't have to do anything. If you have a scope, which I highly recommend, it's nice. Uh, but it's still, you know, you would have to go into the wire, to the wires in the back and poke into the wires and this and that. Uh, the second thing that you should do when it comes to CAN uh, vehicles it's, you're going to have to, if it doesn't communicate, one of the modules is shorted. And then you would have to start disconnecting modules. Here on screen, you can see the, a gateway in the, in the, uh, in the diagram. If, if the Anyhow, we'd like to thank you for tuning into our channel, ADP Training. Uh, please subscribe to our website. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, and if you can, uh, we really appreciate a donation. It's very expensive to produce these videos. Anyhow, thank you for tuning in to our channel, ADP Training, and thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on hands video, and how-to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book. Kindle ebook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.